Hello, I'm Wu Shai with Xinhua News Agency. Four years ago, the world's first internet court opened here in Hangzhou, China's e-commerce hub. After four years of exploration, the Hangzhou Internet Court behind me has built a new world-leading internet judicial model with Chinese characteristics. Internet courts facilitate litigation procedures such as remote case filing, online trials, and document services on mobile phones or computers. This reduces time and distance restraints. Spanning big data, blockchain, AI, and beyond, Hangzhou Internet Courts deals with many scenarios that bridge internet and justice. However, the innovation and exploration of the court are not limited to the technical level. Here, the internet is not only a means of internet justice, but also the object of internet justice. Now, let's take a look at Hangzhou Internet Court and see how this court uses the internet to safeguard the cyberspace. As the technology and the industry develop rapidly, the traditional judicial model has lagged behind, especially as new disputes and issues have emerged. This was one reason that China opened the Hangzhou Internet Court in 2017. The next chair, two others followed in Beijing and Guangzhou. This is a courtroom in Hangzhou Internet Court, with cameras and screens. Even if those who involved in cases are physically far apart, they can still participate in the court hearing online. In the past four years, Hangzhou Internet Court heard more than 1,100 cases online each year. The court reduces what we call limitation burden by allowing the parties oceans apart to participate in trials online. New technologies are used to improve judicial efficiency. For example, voice recognition is used to generate real-time court hearing transcripts. We have built an evidence storage platform based on blockchain technology, which is tamper-resistant and thus ensures the authenticity and reliability of electronic evidence. All trials by Hangzhou Internet Court were held online. The average time of these trials was 21 minutes, 80% shorter than traditional offline quarter trials. The average trial cycle was 47 days, 40% shorter than offline trials. Hangzhou Internet Court has led the way in establishing protection rules for areas such as platform economy, virtual property, data property rights, internet-related personality rights, and new objects of intellectual property. It has helped elevate digital justice and provided legal support for digital governance. Hangzhou Internet Court has also set up China's first cross-border trade court, a multiple dispute resolution system for international commercial affairs. It provides more solutions for international cyberspace governance reform. We have encountered many new problems, many of which were never seen before. Such problems may involve digital currency, data collection and use, algorithmic governance, and the protection of citizens' internet-related personality rights. We are also trying to promote training sessions and courses about typical cases. Internet courts are one way that China is adapting its judicial system against a backdrop of rapid cyberspace development. Looking ahead, Internet trials will continue to be improved, judicial governance rules developed, and a preventive legal mechanism established so that China may offer a model for global cyberspace judicial governance.